Hi everyone, I am now filming in the dead of night so that I don't get any noise from the builders. The struggle is real. Anyway, we are going to be talking everything Decium today because Decium have a blanket 23% off their entire collection, whether that be from The Ordinary or from Neod. So if you're wanting to pick up any bargains, now is definitely the time to do it. But because it's their Slovember campaign, their whole ethos is that you don't need to make any really quick purchases. You don't need to make any impulse buys because you have the entire of November to think about your purchases really carefully before you make them. So this sale is going to go on for the entire of November so there's no rush but within this video I'm going to be talking about the purchases that I am going to be making those repurchases of products that I have to have in my kit at all times and also those products that I really want to try and now is the perfect time to make that purchase while there's a little bit of discount so let's get on with it if you're new here hi my name's Gemma I upload new content on YouTube every single week I would absolutely love it if at some point in this video if you're finding it helpful at all, please consider coming and joining the Pampered Wolf Pack by clicking... By... By... <laughs> by clicking the like button, the subscribe button, and also the notification bell. That was a challenge. <laughs> So let's jump straight into those purchases of the products that I've tried previously. These are the products that are staples in my kit. I have to have spares in the drawer next to me, otherwise I start to get a little bit lightheaded and have palpitations just for fear that I'm going to run out of them and then they'll be out of stock which does happen. <laughs> so the first two products I want to mention, I'm actually not buying any of these within the sale because I already have spares in my drawer. However, these definitely would be on that list had I not already got spares. It's the Squalane Cleanser and also the Natural Moisturizing Factor plus Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer. These two products are superb and they are super affordable. They are both from The Ordinary. So we've got the cleanser, which is an all round, absolutely fantastic cleanser. It looks like a cream. It feels like a balm. You use it as a balm. So you'd use it on dry skin, massage it in, then wet your hands all over to emulsify the cream and then either splash it off with water or take it off with a washcloth. Beautiful, clear, bright, plump skin. It is absolutely amazing and there are no nasties within the formula. It's fragrance free, it's essential oil free, it is absolutely fantastic for anybody with a sensitive skin and anybody asking me what sort of cleanser they should go for, whether they are wanting to spend masses on a cleanser or very little on a cleanser, this is the first product that I tend to point people towards because it is fantastic. The Natural Moisturising Factor plus Hyaluronic Acid Moisturiser is also along the same lines as the Squalane Cleanser. This is generally the moisturiser that I point people towards when they approach me because, again, it's an all-rounder, it suits all skin types, it's just a beautiful, beautiful product. Again, suitable for sensitive skins. It's not got any essential oils or fragrance in. It's just an all-round goodie and it works. It's full of those natural moisturizing factors. It's also got hyaluronic acid in there to plump and hydrate the skin. And it's also because of its consistency and the weight of the product, it's suitable for use in the morning as well as in the evening as well. I find this to be super nourishing on my skin but not too heavy. So I can easily use this underneath my makeup without my makeup sliding off my skin throughout the day but equally it's nourishing enough to also use in the evening and you can feel it doing its job. It's not one of those completely weightless moisturizers that's like a gel-like consistency so if you're after one of those this is definitely not it but it's a stunning product. Moving on to a serum, let's talk about niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. This is always without fail on my mum's Christmas list and on her birthday list. So regardless of whether I have extra stock in the drawers next to me, I 
always buy this when it's on offer and I try my best to get the larger version because my mum, it's like she drinks this. I'm not quite sure what she does with this, but she runs out pretty frequently. So I buy her this whenever it's on offer. This is definitely on my list of things to buy. Niacinamide is absolutely fantastic for not only being an antioxidant and fighting against that free radical damage, but it's also great for clearing the skin, for helping to smooth the texture, smooth the texture of the pores as well. My mum has seen amazing results from niacinamide. This is her favourite ingredient of all time. This is the product that my mum recommends to all of her friends. Every time they say, your skin's looking amazing, this is the product that she mentions. It will regulate oil production without making your skin dry and it will also help to brighten your skin as well. It's a lovely product. Not everybody is going to get the same results from this, as with all skincare, everyone's skin is completely different. And although this is a very well tolerated ingredient on the whole, there are going to be some people whose skins don't like niacinamide. And if you are one of those people, my heart goes out to you because niacinamide is pretty much in every single product now. It was the in ingredient around about six months ago. Six months before that, it was hyaluronic acid. So again, if you're sensitive to hyaluronic acid, my heart goes out to you because that's also in pretty much everything. Now, because of that, you may not feel the need to have an extra product that is just solely dedicated to niacinamide or hyaluronic acid within your routine. My mum would completely disagree with that. She would bathe in this serum if she could. In fact, that might be why she's going through this quite quickly. <laughs> I don't know. Moving on to the next product on my buy list, which is from Neod, and it's the Superoxide Dismutase Saccharide Mist. I adore this, but I do buy it every six months and I am on my last bottle. I no longer have one in store. So as soon as you open this, it will last six months and then whatever you have left in the bottle should be discarded and a new one purchased. It does have a lot of product in the bottle. This will last me six months and several times I have had to get rid of a little bit that's left in the bottle to open Open a new one, which always makes me so sad, but it's just how it's got to be. So this is an amazing antioxidant. It's also incredibly calming. It's an anti-inflammatory. It will reduce redness. It plumps the skin and it seriously hydrates the skin as well. This is that skin mist that I cannot do without. I use this in the morning and I use it in the evening. I just think it is superb. If you're wanting a little bit more information about the superoxide dismutase saccharide mist, which is a mouthful in itself, I will link a video that is solely dedicated to this one product at the end of this video for you to watch a little bit later. Moving on to the next product on my buy list that I cannot do without. This is the hydration vaccine from Neod. Now this is a hydration seal for the skin. This really does work to not only hydrate the skin, but seal in that hydration and prevent any transepidermal water loss. It is an amazing product and it's unlike anything that I've ever tried on my skin before. So the hydration vaccine comes in two different sizes sizes, the 50 ml and the 100 ml, and they're in different containers. If you've already tried the hydration vaccine and you love it, I highly recommend that you go for the 100 ml rather than the 50 ml. And the reason I say that is because it's in a tube that you can squeeze to get the product out rather than it being in a tub that you need to get a, a little spoon in. And they do sell those on the Neod website as well. So it's not a big issue, but you do need to get a spoon in, scrape out a little bit of the product to then apply it to your skin. And I, I just find that a little bit faffy. I'd rather it be in a tube. I do have the 50 mil version, but I have ordered the 100 mil version just for that ease of use. I love it. I absolutely adore this product because it does the job and it does it in a slightly different way to a normal moisturizer. And yet it does other things that a moisturizer doesn't do 
as well, including it being a primer and creating the most beautiful canvas to apply your makeup products on top of. That is a big tick tick bonus for me. So the hydration vaccine contains lots of those natural moisturizing factors, which are those amino acids and minerals that are found naturally within the skin barrier that help to protect against that transepidermal water loss. They really help to seal in that hydration naturally. And this product contains lots of those ingredients in spades. And because of that, this product acts slightly differently to other moisturizers that can often add lubricants and oils to the skin, which then in turn can mask any dehydration. They don't prevent it, they can often just disguise it. This one really respects the skin's makeup and chemistry and adds extra ingredients that the skin already has to supplement the natural moisturizing factors that are already present in the skin to really add to the army that's going to protect your skin against that water loss. Along with that though, the hydration vaccine also contains some lovely humectants to really fill the skin full of hydration, to plump it, to smooth it, and in conjunction with those natural moisturizing factors, then seal that hydration in the skin. This is a breathable formula, but it does feel very silicony. So if you're not into that silicon slip on the surface of the skin, you are not going to like this. If you don't mind it, but you find silicon products quite heavy, I would definitely say Say use this just in the evening, but believe me, you are missing a trick if you're only using this in the evening because used in the daytime, this can also act as a primer. Like I've said previously, it just smooths the skin and allows all your makeup to glide on effortlessly. Just, it's, it's just gorgeous. Let's move on to those products that I've never tried before, but I'm definitely keen to give them a go. These are the products that are definitely on my to buy list during Slovember. I'm either gonna be buying these for me or for my mum to try. And I'm sure if my mum tries these, she will be back on a little bit later to share her thoughts and feelings on them. The first product I want to mention I am going to be buying for my mum. This is the Neck Elasticity Catalyst. And it's a multi-peptide formula that supports the skin's elasticity and also density. So my mum's problem area is her neck. And in my opinion, my mum's neck looks a lot younger than it used to do before she started using her LED devices. I mean, the smoothness. My mum's 70 next year. I keep saying she's 70 now and she wants to smack me in the face. <laughs> so I won't say that on here. She's 69 at the moment, she's 70 next year. Her neck is not the neck of a 70 year old. No way. However, it's the area of my mum's body that she is very self-conscious about. So anything I can do to improve that, I am all for. So I would really like her to try this. This is supposed to decrease cellular aging and also decrease the look of lax skin as well. So used in conjunction with her LED devices, and I'm not saying use this at the same time, but she can apply this after she's done her LED treatments, will hopefully really boost the repair of all the damage that has been done to my mum's neck over the years. Moving on to the next product, and this one is for me, I am bagsying this product. Although I know as soon as I start trying this and my mum sees me trying this, she's gonna wanna try it as well. So I may end up having to buy two of these. Again, this is from Neod and it's the Lip Biolipid Concentrate. Now, as I've got a little bit older, I've noticed that the texture on my lips has increased tenfold. Now I can cope with that. It's perfectly fine. I apply a lip primer before I apply any lipstick or lip glosses, that tends to work for me. But if I can attack it at source with skincare, that's obviously going to be more beneficial than smothering a primer all over my lips. And maybe I'll need less primer in future. I am desperately happy to give this one a go. So the Lip Biolipid Concentrate is full of beautiful peptides to increase collagen production to that lip area. It's also full of prolipid complexes to really smooth the body of the lip out. So this is supposed to increase lip plumpness, increase lip color, which we all lose lip color as we get older. If that can do that for me, I am having some of that. Increase the volume 
volume of the lip, decrease the texture of the lip and increase the softness of the lip. I am so excited to get my hands on some of this. I cannot tell you. Next product on my buy list is again from Neod and it's the Survival Zero. Now I've never tried any of the Survival range. I mean, I don't think I have. I've tried a lot of products. Maybe I've forgotten about this one. Hmm. Anyway, let's go with I've never tried any of the survival products. I can't remember anyway. So this is one of the things that I'm desperately wanting to pick up. Now, most of the survival range, the survival 10, the survival 20 and the survival 30 have an SPF in of the same factor. So the survival 10 has an SPF 10 in, survival 30, SPF 30 in and so on. The survival zero, doesn't have any SPF in. And even though I'm a huge advocate for wearing SPF on a daily basis, I prefer to wear a standalone SPF and I have my favorites, which is why I've opted for a product with zero SPF in, because I just want it to work as an antioxidant. And this one is supposed to be a really good one. So the Survival Zero is a strong antioxidant emulsion and I really like the texture of an emulsion so I'm excited to try this one out. It has some strong antioxidants within the formula including superoxide which is also present in my favourite mist from Neod, the superoxide dismutase saccharide mist that I mentioned earlier. I'm hoping used in conjunction with this these will be a match made in heaven, a little bit like Batman and Robin fighting off all the free radicals in the world and just protecting my skin. That's how I want to think about it anyway. <laughs> And finally, the last product that I'm adding to my buy list during Slovember is the Pycnogenol 5% Serum from The Ordinary. Has anybody else never heard of this product in their lives? I did not know this product existed until one of my favorite YouTubers, Penn Smith Skincare, did a reel over on Instagram talking about this very product. And it was only about three days ago I saw this. It immediately went on my to buy list. It looks lovely. Now, this is a strong antioxidant serum that works very, very well in conjunction with ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C, really boost the efficacy of the vitamin C serum. Now, if you are a regular to my channel, you will probably know that my skin does not like vitamin C, or rather vitamin C does not like my skin. It just doesn't really work well for me. I can cope with a vitamin C mask that I have on for 15 minutes and then wash off, but I can't really cope with those products that are leave-on treatments. So this is where Penn Smith came in and she uses the Pycnogenol 5% in a very interesting way. She actually mixed it into her favorite vitamin C mask and placed it on the skin that way in conjunction with the ascorbic acid rather than having this on the skin, working its magic just on its own and leaving it on. And that I just think is genius. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely genius. You're getting a lot of the benefits from the product, but I'm not going to get any of the irritation or blackheads that come along with using a vitamin C product. Genius. Genius. I'm really quite jealous that I did not think of this myself. <laughs> Now, the reason Penn Smith Skincare mentions mixing it into a vitamin C mask rather than smothering it all over your skin is that a lot of people that have tried Pycnogenol 5% have said that it's got quite an oily, slippy consistency that they didn't find very comfortable on the skin, especially if they had oily skin. Now, I'm not saying that I won't be able to smother it all over my skin. I've not tried it yet. I will try it both ways. But if you are going to add it to a mask, it's a way of getting all all the benefits from the Pycnogenol 5% without having to suffer the oily slippiness on the surface of the skin all the way through the day. So the benefits of Pycnogenol 5% are that it stimulates collagen production, it improves elasticity. Again, it's a great antioxidant support for your skin, so it will fight off that free radical damage. And it helps to brighten and decrease any unwanted pigmentation issues that you have on your skin. Again, this can work great in conjunction with a vitamin C product as well. I'm going to try it in both ways on its own and also mixed in with a vitamin C mask like Pen recommended. This is probably the one that I'm most excited to try along with the lip biolipid concentrates which 
I mean, I cannot wait to get my hands on. But this excites me because I only heard about it three days ago and I'm impatient. I need to get my hands on it now. So that's it for my buy list for Slovember. Again, this is all about non-impulse buying. You have the entire of November to make up your mind. You don't have to pick any of the products that I've mentioned in this video. These are just the products that I'm definitely going to be purchasing, but there are some amazing products, both in The Ordinary and also within Neod. And if you plump for Neod, that 23% is going to save you a lot because some of the Neod products are rather pricey. There's a big difference between the Ordinary and Neod. So if you want to step it up a gear and go for some of the Neod products, knowing that you're getting that 23% discount, now is the time to do it. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Do let me know what you've thought about it in the comments section. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.